Hi, my name is Lorella Joey. I am a filmmaker and a casting director. I am based in Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, my line of work really deals with talent, deals with uh, telling stories and such like things. Today we are going to have a session on casting, on the casting director's side as well as the talent side. So, karibuni sana. Sasa, um, when you talk about casting, um, for me it's really the process to getting the one. Who is this person? Who is this talent? and by the director wants to work with. That is what um, I'm tasked with as a casting director to find. So my job is really to find talent. Na kwa hiyo, tukiongelea casting, what is casting? Casting happens in pre-production. It's a pre-production process. So it can go on, mpaka production, maali hapo, if someone blows up and then you're called in as a casting director to step in and find new talent. But mostly it's a pre-production process. And um, it's a pre-production process where you are involved as a casting director to select a certain type of artist as an actor, as a dancer, as a singer, as an extra for a particular part, either in a script for film, in a commercial, um, that's advertising. It could be a screenplay um, or uh, a theatre play as well. So, casting director ni nani na kwa department ya casting, watu ufanya kazi aje. So in, in the casting department, like, I just want us to have a global view. Isikuwe tu ni view yetu tu, ya hapa tu kwetu peke yake. It's kind of an extended African view because in developed places like the North and the South Africas and, you know, places like that, um, what, they have a very developed system in terms of um, casting. How does the casting department work? Hii department ya casting iko na watu wagani na inawakaje. So I just want us to know that during this session, we'll just have a global view, which is also largely localized. Ni vile sasa kwa market zetu is developing, bado kuna vitu zingine hatuja meet. Lakini globally and the way the casting department works, a cast, before as talent, before you get to the casting director, normally the casting director akisha pati wa brief na the producer and the director, mostly the script, anapitia, Anaangalia na anambiwa, okay, this is what the script is and this is the character brief. So these are the people we are looking for. But then before, before wewe ufikiwe kama talent, this person has to have someone who is helping them fish out the talent. So maybe they have a database and so that means maybe just so that I don't forget it, it's important that you reach out to either a casting director or an associate, someone who works with a certain casting director or an agent. Hapa kwetu unajua we have agents. In Kenya, there are people who, um, you know, work as agents. So you can try and get to one of these people or a casting director like myself directly. And, you know, you present yourself as talent so that when I get these briefs, the first person I'll think of is you and what do I need from, from you as talent. Those I'll get to uh, at a certain point in this conversation we're having. So yeah, so kwa casting director, before casting director and all job, yeye akipati wa script yake, anasoma, anasoma na brief, anangalia kwa database yake, who do I have um, that can meet, you know, whatever the director is looking for. And they work really closely. So before at a casting director, the casting director doesn't really make decisions. They suggest so I can suggest that so and so and so is suitable for this role. And so after her, po director and Angalia na producer wake, and even me, I'm consulted. So, okay, what do you think about so and so and why did you choose them? But then the, the, the decision to who is given the role largely and hugely can be influenced by the casting director, but is decided by the director and the producer. And most likely the director, because the director is the one who works with the talent. So yeah, so there's a casting director in that department. There's an associate. This is someone who um, could be fishing talent. Especially for me, I've worked, I've, I, I've worked closely with uh, one of my very good associates who assists me as well. He doubles up also as an assistant, especially when I'm looking for roles where I'm looking for special people. So sometimes, um, like way back, I did a film three or so years ago. It's called Watu Wate. Watu Wate was hugely um, based... Uh, on the Kenyan, Somali, and Somali community. So a lot of those roles, ambazo zilikuwa zinaitaji watu wengi, na uh, watu wa hiyo ethnicity, you see, we had to fish them from a certain point. And so I had to work with an assistant in that area to get these people. And so that's where now the assistant comes in, because they help you organize, 
they help you get people. They help, you know, on the audition day, they help organize these people to come for the audition so that you're able to see them alongside the director as well. And sometimes, Utapata, if you're working on your film and you don't have a budget for a casting director, this is also for you because down the line we'll talk about, you know, what a good casting brief looks like. It helps you. See, Lazima, you hire a casting director if you don't have the budget. You can do it yourself. So long as you trust that you can find this person that you're looking for. So yeah, so in that department, locally I'd say we have a casting director, you can have a casting agent, you can have uh, an assistant as well, if you can afford them. And depending on the magnitude of the shoot. Sometimes I do it all alone. I just get the brief, read the script, break it down, send out a casting call, and I open the audition. You email your staff. You, the staff that I'm talking about are your headshots, your full, like I normally request for a headshot, a full body shot, and a showreel if you have one. And I understand if you don't have one, if you're only starting out, but it's good to push yourself. So pushing yourself, I normally advise my actors, at least get a headshot. A headshot is kind of, you know, a shot that's from your head to your bust or nearing your stomach somewhere there. And it can be this tight as well. It just depends. Um, and a full body shot, that's head to toe. Yeah, and normally done with little or very minimal makeup or even no makeup, zero makeup, because I want to see your features. So the time you give me a headshot, for instance, if unless it's for a commercial or, but even those, they ask sometimes for you to just be bare. So if you're working on building yourself as, a, as talent, work on a headshot and make sure when you're taking it, it can be taken at any studio. Use a plain background. You can use your phone. If you have a good phone and it has a good camera, you have a friend, just frame yourself, empty background, um, position yourself, make sure the shot is that big. And yeah, and then also have a full body shot, head to toe. Um, short and you can have a variety of them, a smiling one, a serious face one, and just stack it up, just build yourself. So that you can approach, could you give me your headshot and full body shot? These are two vitumbili basic. And then slowly now when you start working, you start building your resume. Your resume is what outlines the work that you've done as talent. So those are some of the things on the onset of the casting process as a casting director I'd request for. And it could be that you're starting out, it could be that you're already talent and you're working, but it's important. Invest in those things. A headshot, full body shot, and a showreel. If you can have one, or you can build up on one as your career grows. And if you can't have that, if you've not worked on work, or you can't access the footage easily, start doing monologues. You know, do acting classes. There are many little workshops that people offer in Nairobi, in Mombasa, in these major towns. And there are some that are also online. You can YouTube. YouTube is also your friend. Like, you know, just, it's a lot of research. So you just go in there and try and fish out things that can help you. You find a good monologue, record it. Try and give it to someone else to, you know, to view it for you. Send it to me. Right now, there's a lot of time. And I can take my time to look at it and give you some advice on how you can improve on these little things. And it builds you. It builds your confidence. And if you, you, you're scared of the camera, the best way to start is that. Or the old good trick of talking into your mirror. If you don't have a mirror, just put a tape on your wall. It's a good old trick. And you talk to this tape, you monologue with it, and you, ju you, you just try and focus. Like, now I'm looking this way, but then I should be looking this way. So yeah, so you try and focus on that. It helps build that confidence and, and uh, take away the camera shyness that most of us talent have. Yeah, so that's how that process kind of... Uh, um, goes the casting process and it cuts across whether it's you know for children even for children you are requested to as a parent you'll be requested for headshots you'll be requested for a full body shot um, yeah and your consent as a parent to allow your child to work on some of these sets yeah so besides that now now that you know when doing also during also the casting process now this is for talent how do you get into a room like what influences the casting director's decision as of this person personally, as you're walking into my casting room, I'm already auditioning you. So the audition doesn't quite start when you hit your mark and you're on the set already and you're waiting to hear action. It starts from there. How do you come in? How do you present yourself? Like, are you happy to be there? There are, there are most directors that I've worked with and done um, casting for, they just tell you, I just want someone who is easy to work with, someone who can take direction. And so are you that person as you're walking into that room of mine for the casting session? Are you that person who is easy to work with, easy to direct? You know, if the camera loves you and you have those two in addition, then, you know, you, 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 you can definitely book a job. 
But, you know, if you're slou- slouchy or I don't know if that's good English, ama kama uja, hauna confidence, unaingio kitetemeka, na it's normal, unaingio kitetemeka, lakini there is, you know, there is just a way that you get into the room and you stand on your mark and you present yourself. Hi, my name is so and so. I'm here for the audition and I'm reading for this role. And I ask you, most, mostly I like doing it for my talent. As I said, again, we are doing global view. So many times you'd be asked for, um, if you come at least to my auditions, <laughs> I'll ask you for your slate. So slate means you give me your name, your age, and the character that you're reading for. And the age can be also an age range. You know, you could say, um, so-and-so, my age is, I can play between X to Y kind of age. And I can see it as well while, while you're in the room. So sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can skip it. But yeah, at least your name on that slate, like tell me your name and tell me the character that you're reading for. And then once you've done that, I could ask you for your profile. So your profiles means that you turn, you turn so that I'm able to see your, your sides, especially for commercials, they normally request for profiles. So then you turn and you turn and then you turn back to the front. So it's kind of a side shot of your body. And then you turn back and face um, camera. And then now you can start off your audition whenever you're ready. So it's important to know also those words so that when you get into a room where maybe it's an international casting and you're told profiles, you're like, I've never heard of that. Slate, I've never heard of that. So it's good also to familiarize. And that's why I'm insisting again, research and you know, follow casting directors and um, watch videos made by casting directors. There are so many that can help you, especially now. Now the times are changing. Why? We are getting to cast, even myself, I was just, I'm casting for a massive um, voiceover animation project. But how have we done it? It's all online. Like people are requesting you to send tapes. People are requesting you to send voiceover um, um, recordings just virtually online. Because right now that's what is happening. We can't meet up in rooms. You can't meet up in auditions. So are you prepared for that? How are you practicing that? You can do it on your phone. You know, you just tape yourself. Even that monologue, you don't need anyone. You just put your phone. You know, if you have a hook, you know, that can hook up there, it's a magnetic hook. All these little toys that you can use to take selfies and all, you position them and instead of, um, you know, if you have time on your hands, you try and practice and practice and practice. So long as you can get good sound, it's a quiet place, you can definitely record your um, casting or audition tape at this point of corona and all these things. Yeah. So... um, I think I've expounded a lot on what happens in the room and um, how that process gets to uh, the audition day. And so, um, where was I going? Um, Yeah, I think for talent, again, I'd encourage, please know your lines. Know your lines, know your lines. If you're given the audition on the day of the, um, ah, if you're given the, sorry, if you're given the, the script on the day of the casting, Please, instead of kuchapa story uko nje na mabeste yenye amjaonana na miaka mingi, chukua hiyo script enda ukae mahali na kama ni una play opposite someone anambia mse una read role gani mimi na read. And then kando mwanze kusoma hizo lines. Cuz ni muhimu ku get into the into the character. So it's like inakusaidia ni wewe ndio unajisaidia so badala ya kutia story pale nje <laughs> unaenda unafanya nini? Una practice na mse. Ama unaenda unajiweka mahali una practice. Ukipatiwa prior even better ina kusaidia tu wewe hakikisha by the time unakuja kwa audition room maze uko na hiyo na hapo ndio huwa confidence ya actors wengi wa inaanguka kwa sababu unapatiwa script well before ama unapatiwa on the day alafu sababu badala waanze kuangalia na kusoma wewe unaanza kutia story au unasema hai internet alafu unaingia pale unaanza kutetemeka juu saa lines na evaporate all those things so yeah so i highly encourage instead of kuchapa story na nini ukipatiwa before please know your lines it is your job as talent to know your lines and understand the character. So yeah. Hiya. Um, what else would I want to tell? I think that will take me to the audition do's and don'ts so that I just finish off with talent. Um, so yeah, so we take, you know, we, we really do take auditions for granted many times and that's why you don't leave a memory. I've had auditions where someone comes, they don't necessarily get the particular role but kwa vile hakupata hiyo lead role ama supporting yalikuwa nataka na muuliza una mind ukipata extra role ama una mind ukipata another smaller minor role which is not exactly what you auditioned for mtu ananiambia well yes i don't mind so then when i'm done because the, the main casting happens 
with the lead and supporting cast, cast most likely. So main main casting will happen first for the lead and supporting. And then wale watu wengine wenye nitakuwa nimebakisha I ask them do you mind having another minor role or a, an extra role? Mtu anasema gatu a mind. Then you're able if you if you don't mind but take it. Even if you mind take it. It's an opportunity for you to be on a set, it's an opportunity for you to learn. So unaji skuma pia. Na ukipata hiyo opportunity usi let go. Hata kama ni an extra role especially if you're starting out. Just you know just give yourself to the craft and for sure uta, uta benefit from it. So audition do's and don'ts. Ni nini uh, vitu zenye unafaa kufanya na zenye ufai kufanya? Either kama una prepare audition ama wakati audition. So first priority kwangu uh, ambayo naweza advise talent. Wewe kama ni actor una start out ama ni actor mwenye pia umekuwa tu. Um, don't take it for granted. It's an opportunity for you to showcase your work. So please prepare adequately and uh, give yourself time. Either kama ulikuwa na script kwa hao please prepare ukiwa kwa hao. Kama ulipatiwa script ukiwa umekam audition that morning ichukue manzee badala ya ku stand kwa kiuna kutia ma story ka kando kidogo memorize script yako understand character yenu unaulizwa na itakusaidia at the end of the day confidence yako tu ndio itaji build ukiingia pale ndani hauta panic um, don't show up late please be on time actors always be on time try your best to be on time it's very important because manzee okay, ukiambiwa call time ni 6 wewe ndio una pull up 6:30 ujue tu hiyo ni half an hour yenye umewestia watu wengine. Na kuna watu wenye ufanya hivyo lakini si poa. So at least let's be on time. It's your job man. I, and I can't insist um, so much on that point kwa sababu mara nyingi on so many sets I've had to be told eh hey, manze huu talent ulitupatia anatusumbua. Kwa sababu gani? Ay, show up on time, hajui lines, hajui sasa hiyo ni ya nini? Kama unatakujijenga kweli unataka kufanya job kwa industry. Na kwetu mse mwenye unajielewa, mse professional, si to keep time don't be late tafadhali kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi yetu haya ukiingia kwa audition room manze imagine niko na audition tu pale KNT watu kama 200 wamepanga msururu hivi kila mtu mwenyeingia kwa hiyo mlango akikuja anaanza kunisalimia na mkono tuko tu hivi tuko tu hivi eh hey, at the end of the day nitakuwa manze kwanza sasa ina wacha hata corona sasa hii nitakuwa nimechoka niko mchafu kwa mkono <laughs> kwa hiyo tafadhali ukiingia kwa audition room Ebu ingia ukifuata shughuli yako ya kwenda kwa mark unaweza nisalimia tunaweza salimia na ile ya see cause sometimes it wastes so much time imagine there are 200 other people who want to come and start exchanging pleasantries and we are not like there is literally probably no time for that so ukiingia okay, come in with your big smile come hit your mark hi my name is so and so i'm here to audition for the role of bahati uh, thank you ah alafu mimi nitakuwa engage hivyo tu kuokoa m kuokoa muda Haya. Um, please again, smiling, smiling. Be present, keep eye contact. I can't insist enough. It's not we are not there to torture you. It's an audition. Just be yourself and it's very much remotely dangerous. Hakuna mtu atakufa at the end of that audition. So, please just just maintain like don't be scared. Try and build your confidence and that that can only come come out very confident in the script on the sides we also call them sides so kipati your sides kama utakuwa umezi umeelewa hiyo character na kama utakuwa uja invest inside the character kwa kweli utaingia na utaanza kupanika au utakuwa unajua ni nini but also don't be afraid once you get there if you have a question me i like it i always ask my talent do you have a, do you have a question before you start if you have a question i can expound on that on the role i can help you understand what you don't understand alafu uchape kazi haya apologizing that actually also gets to me so much and sometimes we waste so much time when as a casting director you come okay you are reading for the role of bahati umeanza alafu maze two things will happen you flub on your lines hi una like you 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 wander all over the place una una lose hiyo confidence yenye confidence yenye ulikuwa nayo alafu maze you just you know you, you just lose it first of all you're doing yourself an injustice because you know ku stama ama ku starta ama ku shraba ama ku lose the line it's normal and I'll understand it but please don't get yourself off the character by doing like you know weird you know weird things getting yourself off the character and all that in such a situation bahati was to say um ebu ni ngoje alafu ukasahau kusema kai ukasahau hiyo line so don't just take a bit 
go back to your brain and try and remember whatever it was that you wanted to say, continue. Just take a beat and continue. It only saves time during the audition. So no, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I, I beg your pardon. No, all those things. Like they just, I, I'll not take it personally because as a professional, I know that now you know and you're a professional and you know that the sorries and whatever's are going to waste a lot of our time on, on the audition. So you just take a beat and you continue. Okay, flab, take a beat, proceed. Ukiwa umesahau line, take a bit, don't confuse yourself because you end up distracting yourself off the moment of the scene and you get out of scene and I lose you kabisa. Higher, please dress appropriately. Make sure you understand what is uh, required of you. On the audition, if you're told no makeup, please don't wear any makeup. Many times um, we find ourselves um, in situations where talent unambiwa will come through I una come audition. Oh, me jire mbesha. Oh, me. Then you look at like someone different. Nikiangalia headshot enye ina makeup nikikuangalia size hivi live. What? So sometimes I request. Normally I tell my talent, please no makeup. And no makeup means no makeup. Or if it's if I don't tell you, don't overdo the makeup. Have minimal makeup. It's normally good when you are as natural as possible, unless it is requested of you that you know you can you can present yourself with makeup. Um, yeah. And ask questions. I've talked about that. Please ask questions if you have. Before, the, before you start reading for your part, ask questions. Um, if you have none, it's also okay. Sawa, sawa. Yeah, so don't kill yourself. I'm there to help you. I'm there to guide you through the process as a casting director. And I'm only there to make sure that it's fair also for you as talent. And I have your interest, as, uh, your interest at heart. Yeah. And uh, the other thing, again, I'll not... Uh, I can I can't insist on this enough. Please know your lines. Manze usipo understand lines zako, usipo understand script. Ama at least usipojua hizo lines zenye umepatiwa maze, utajichomea tu. Ju utakam, uta panic, hauelewi nini unafa useme. Ama lines zina lost, ju haujazi understand. At least understand them. It doesn't have to be word for word, but at least understand them. And if you can know your lines, know your lines cold. Like, know your lines. Um, yeah. And then the other thing I'd say, also remember mostly, because me now I'm talking from the side mostly of film and, you know, on screen acting. So yeah, remember it's film, it's not theater. So please, no overacting, no overdoing things. It's more of the emotion and how you kind of present that to me as a casting director in the room. So yeah, so make me feel without being too dramatic. Sawa, sawa. That's a note I always give my talent. Because sometimes, and I understand, in our country, we mostly start in theater and then we transition into, into screen. And sometimes that can be confusing because ile nini emotion nyenye inakuanga sana kwa theater, ile nyenye you bring it all out, it, it is required maybe 40% on screen. So you try and balance it out. And try and do your research, jamani. Na, naomba ni waambie, muangalie ma YouTube video, yapo mengi, huku nje. Uh, Mufolo casting directors who are useful and share useful tips for you. Yeah. Um, uh, what else did I want to insist on? Um, yeah, you only get better at this, I'd say. And these do's and don'ts are just basic guides on how we we kama msani palenje na kama an upcoming actor, actress, you can try and go about yourself. And you only grow with time. So usiji fungie, manzeo kisikia audition. Na ukiona ni kitu criteria yenye una meet, ebu apply. Ebu enda kwa audition. Me, I've, I've given chances to first time talent just because they push themselves. Just because na unaumtu anayika BD. Na iyo BD ni kikupatia, tuseme kwa mfano umekuja, una audition for the lead, usipate ni kupatia extra role. Iyo set yenye umeenda, itakujenga, itakusaidia utalan kitu. So don't, don't, don't ignore, especially when you're starting out. Try, push yourself, get on these sets, try and learn, try and learn, even the umtu na jijenga. So yeah, I, I wouldn't insist um, on that enough. Yeah. Um, butterflies are normal. It's normal for you to have post, kwanza ukisha audition, manze unaenda, you can't apata your roles, you need, it's normal. But please, forgive yourself, even if unajuli bland ama nini manze, just forgive yourself and be hopeful that hata kama yeye itaingiana, the next one or the other one will come through for you. Sawa sawa? Hiya. Um, let me just go back a bit on um, now the the on the on the um, breaking down the characters. Now this is for generally either for you as talent 
or you, a filmmaker who has your own film and you want to cast talent for. Um, yeah, so how do you break down and break down your characters and um, make the casting call and audition your talent? So yeah, so you have to have a breakdown. You have to create a small plan. You have the script sent to you as a casting director or you have sides. Maybe it's just a scenario that the director sent to you and told you, okay, this is what they are going to be reading for. Um, these are the characters. So how do you break it down now to give people a casting call, a proper casting call? See, like a casting call, yeah. Maria, I'm looking for Maria, actor, female, 50. Like, unapati watu very loose information that they can't relate to. It's important that you be extensive with your information when you're putting out your casting call. Then it hooks me. I'll, do, I'll want to work on your project. It might be a very low budget film. It might be a student film. But the way you present yourself from that casting call, it an idea sana mimi as an actor to make a decision whether I want to hop on it or not. So yeah, so make sure on that breakdown, put an, uh, have um, your age range indicated there. This is the age range I'm looking for, the gender of the person, um, ethnicity, I'll say ethnicity, it's not really eth ethnicity in terms of tribe or anything, but it's mostly sometimes you're looking for an Indian, you're looking for a Somali, you're looking for a Kenyan Somali, you're looking for a black actor, in, in, in Caucasian or white actor. So it's good to just be specific. Um, height and weight, sometimes you want someone who is slim, sometimes you want someone who is um, a little built. So yeah, it, it, it's important that you indicate. Any distinctive characteristics, you want someone with dreadlocks, you want someone who has tattoos, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's good to indicate. You want someone who has a mohawk, it's good to indicate. Um, if you don't, it's also okay. You, it, it can just be a blank kind of general um, audition. It's good to indicate um, uh, any special skills. Maybe someone you want someone who can dance, someone who can sing, someone who can do stunts. Maybe a swim, and a truck, and a lorry. There are circumstances I've had to get someone who can drive a lorry, um, someone who can cycle a bicycle. Now, okay, I'm going cycle a bicycle. See, the basic, the aku and the shatu evo. Ni le ni mtu ni ni nzaji kaza vizuri na bicycle. Okay, and the shatu ni poa ni poa ku indicate yawa say ni special skills. Gani nataka kwa uyu character. Um, yeah, and then nice in the lead roles. Mostly say you after how lead characters wako. Higher, it's very important. Dissect it for your actors. That way, actors wako hawata kuwa nervous. Come on afanya casting call. Now sasa hii ni either as a casting director or as a film director. You are up and coming. You know exactly what you want. You don't need me for your audition to audition talent. So now, how do you dissect it for your actors so that they understand? Give them a character, you know, a character breakdown. Tell them that at least have a paragraph explaining Besides so, age, ethnicity, you know, special characteristics and things, have a small, a small brief explainer of what this character is about. Then it helps the talent understand what exactly you're looking for. It's very, very important. Um, yeah, and yeah, so that, that could seem as though it's enough. But um, for example, let me, let me just give an example. So... I'm looking for Maria. She's female. She's her age range is 40 to 50. Um, Maria is a black woman. She's a strict and intimidating Kenyan school headmistress who hides her alcohol her alcohol addiction from her student and must be able to sing. So that's kind of just in brief. But then now I have to say in kidogo to in depth Daniya Maria. Who is this Maria? What's her life? What are what does she like to do? We took a zina make actor wako understand exactly what you're looking for. Then I'm able to relate to this character. Higher. Generally, a good casting call should be able to accomplish the following, especially if you're working with actors and if you want your actors to really understand what you're looking for as a filmmaker, what you're looking for as a casting director or as a director for a film. It should excite your actors to want to get involved in your project. Sini mesema hivyo. Ineza kwa ni student film, ineza kwa ni low budget film, lakini it should excite me as an actor to want to be part of it. Whether it's a commercial, whether it's a short film, whether it's a feature film project, it should be able to excite me to want to say, oh wow, I want to really play that character. Um, it should communicate your production details as well. Um, either, you know, when the deadlines are for submission, what the production company is. People tend to also want to know who is behind the project. It's good to indicate if you can. Um, whether it's an, uh, when, whether someone uh, has to be with an agency or not, I think there is one. For instance, like there, there was a call out by the Kenya Film Commission for filmmakers, but then they indicated 
exactly that, that you have to be a member of the, you have to have been registered with the Kenya Film Commission. So sometimes you see now those specific details are important. Then I don't have to waste my time as a filmmaker if I'm not part of their database. Or now I'll force myself and urge myself and nudge myself to go and register so that I'm able to participate in whatever they want. Um, yeah. Give actors a glimpse into the people behind the project. It's important, as I've said. Um, you're, expecting, you're expecting also your actors to give you a lot of information about them. So don't be so anonymous. Sometimes it doesn't help. And sometimes it will block good talent from getting to you. Because who is... Or whatever, it is fine. But just at least tell us, the casting director is so-and-so, um, the production company is so-and-so, and these are the shoot dates we are looking at, submission of, of your tapes or your, um, your audition should be done between this and this date. It's very important. It just excites me more as talent. Um, yeah, provide a short project synopsis. It can be three lines. Tell me this project is about... Papa, who is a creative um, and in these corona times is struggling with being alone by himself. Immediately that catches my eye and wow, who is, you know, like now it starts getting excited about your project. So, yeah, so give me a small description of what it is about. It's very important. It normally doesn't happen. We are guilty of some of these, you know, mistakes, but it's important that we learn to do things in a global perspective, in a bigger perspective. It then encourages up and coming filmmakers to also get into this kind of system. Um, yeah, and also provide character information. Yeah, um, so uh, what else did I want to, oh, that was a short exercise. Um, yeah, how do we get to know about casting calls? So now we have come from, you know, who works in the casting department, how does a casting call go? As talent, how do you prepare? And what do you do during auditions and what don't you do? How do you make a good casting call as a filmmaker? And now, how do we put out that casting call? So here, generally, we have very many avenues. You can use your own platforms um, and, you know, um, and um, your connects. You can post now with social media. You can post on Facebook. You can post on WhatsApp groups. Many of the casting calls, for sure, come through WhatsApp groups. Some uh, production companies, especially those doing commercials and big projects, they use agencies. So are you in sync with these agencies? I know locally, you know, they are, they are, they are, I'm not like in any way vouching for anyone or whatever, but I'll just mention randomly. I know there is um, Versatile that does models and uh, actors, for instance. There is Zuri, there is uh, Zindu, is it Zindua? Yeah, there is, you know, there's, there, there are couples. So could you find out who they are, who is behind them, even as people? There is two power, there is uh, two five four talent management as well. Um, yeah, like as agencies. And then can you get on board those? Then when they have work, they can relay the information to their database who are now you people in their database. Um, besides that, Follow casting directors. Follow myself and what I do, if it's possible. <laughs> follow, you know, like casting directors, fellow casting directors. There's um, quite a number of them. So find out who are who are these people. So for instance, I, there's Lorella. There is Gerald Langiri. There is um, Isaiah Evans, who does, you know, a lot of um, casting as well. There is Nini Washera. Um, yeah, and you know many other happen. There is uh, Godfrey Muyungi, who is now also the casting director for Kina. Um, yeah, and quite a number of others. Sometimes you might not know them by name, but please try, just try and connect. Try and plug into these people because most likely one after two hours when you want to fill the gaps in some of these series after they've show, after they've uh, auditioned for their lead and supporting Navitus and Endelea, they might want talent. Take those opportunities just to learn. It might not be your big aim, but please just aim to learn and start from somewhere. Um, yeah, and so yeah, WhatsApp groups, if you can, circle of friends. There's also, there are also platforms. For instance, I have a platform called Film Link Africa. So on Film Link, Film Link Africa, we post um, auditions and you know, job opportunities and things like that. So also hop on to such platforms and um, find out what's happening in terms of work. Yeah, um, also I encourage, most most 
on most auditions and sometimes I see good talent, but then they forget to put their phone numbers and or an email contact. Ama mtu anatuma email hivyo na hiyo email hata waangali. Sasa ukinipatia email yenye uangali, alafu pia namba ya simu pia siwezi kupata nayo kwa vile hujaandika, it's a disservice to yourself. So please always like you know try and whenever you're doing your audition make sure those things are there and even me when I'm doing my casting calls I say this is the email you can email or call this number or whatsapp this number for any further details so it's important um yeah um once I once mostly once I have my my email, me this is how I normally operate If I'm not doing a big casting call, maybe the budget is not big enough for me to hire a hall and have an open audition and all. I normally open it online. So people would send in their emails with their headshots and their resumes and stuff like that. And then I make a short list of whoever I want to see. And then now I reach out, I send you a script. Then you're able to come in prepared. So it's very important. Even you, as you're learning how to put out your casting call, please get into the habit of having a structure. Don't, don't take your talent for granted. Because Abu, many people give up on this stuff because they weren't treated well at some point and it's not right so we have to make it right by making it our job and making it of service to talent yeah um what else what else what else what else i want to touch on something else oh very important as someone who is casting for talent again on your casting day um please make it make it make it a smooth process like don't just let people hang around na kuna mtu mwenye anaweza kusaidia like have someone hata kama ni project yenu ndogo kama unataka ku cast wa say pengine hata ni watu kumi. make sure that kuna mtu mwenye anaweza waangalia maslahi yao anaweza register mahali kama wako wametumana ama kama you have prior information time set them in time slots so then you don't have people waiting for a long time and they'd be doing something constructive with their time so you make sure that you've given them if you you had already pre- prepared yourself then you're able to do that then why not do it like do you do you do your job don't waste talent's time um make sure that you you've lined them up unless it is an open audition and also on an open audition if it is possible have someone who can be communicating many of times i've found myself as i've said i'm i'm also a voice actor and also my 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 child also is acting i also have friends who are in the acting industry and stuff and some of those small things really annoy people um because you want you know you want to save time you've told me to be on time then i'm on time and then maybe it takes way too long yes it might be expected but then communicate we're in the business of communication in film so yeah so it's very important and i can't insist on that enough like have a plan on the day of your casting or on the day on the day of your audition and communicate then you don't have to waste anyone's time um Yeah and have us at least have a standard form if it is a walking on walk in audition then have a standard form that people can fill out and leave their details so that when you need to refer you can refer to it have recording equipment very important every audition you'll have to record so that if you are alone as the casting director whether the director is there or the producer or not or you're doing it alone then you're able to preview your amani post view <laughs> You're able to view the footage um, later on to make a solid decision. Avoid making decisions then then because sometimes you drool out someone and there's probably something that you missed out on. So that's why it's important in your audition or even in auditions that you go to they normally have um, a camera. If they don't then I don't know how they make the decisions maybe it's there and then but it's important that you have recording equipment. Then it's only just that after the audition is done you'll be able to narrow down to whoever you 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 know you noted during the audition and you can go back and watch their tapes so it's also good for us to remember that casting is a collaborative process it involves the director the producer and the casting director mostly in many uh, projects you'd find they have to be involved they they work as a team i suggest as the casting director i'll see people maybe for the first round but once there are callbacks it goes beyond me you know once i have suggested okay these are the people i saw on the first round The director looks and says okay these are your suggestions okay fine can we see so and so and so now we start another process where they are involved the director the producer and myself so the decision during casting during auditions it's a collaborative process so the decisions involve the director the producer and the casting director me my job is to suggest so i'll do the you know the casting calling people they'll come through um mtu akisha audition natumana 
suggestions, this and this and this and this particular person, I thought performed well. And then the director gives me feedback. Maybe they want to see them now for a second um, run of auditions or what we call a callback. Um, so yeah, so you get your callback and maybe you will see the director, maybe not, maybe I'll still be the same person you will see, but then at least you got a nod from the rest of the team. So it's important that we understand that sometimes we are crucified so much as casting directors, and sometimes truly it is beyond us. We can only make suggestions. And your, that suggestion I make, it is only as good as your performance, and if you fit the brief, and if you fit the role. It is that simple. So sometimes we find ourselves crucified so much for the decisions we make in the casting department, but then we need to understand that it's a collaborative process. It involves the director, it involves the producer as well. And once you know, I have made suggestions as the casting director, then it rests upon the rest of the team for callbacks, for us to make a unanimous decision on who exactly will get this role. It's a totally collaborative process. Please remember that, so that you don't crucify us as casting directors, yeah? Very important. So yeah, so lastly, as I finish up, I think I have probably one or two, you know, um, things that are important generally in the casting uh, field. And that would help you as a filmmaker doing casting or someone who wants to get into casting um, for your projects. So please never make a snap decision. Like those immediate decisions sometimes say, ah, uh, uh, ndi wameweza. Alafu mtungine kuja, ah, uh, uh, ata kwanza na meweza kabisa. Usimeki zo snap decisions, ndi mana na insist. Have something to record, have something you can refer to. Then you can watch your playbacks and then you, 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 can, you actually sanely now make a decision based on how these people performed during the audition, it's very important. Even if it takes, you know, a longer time than expected, it's very, very, very important. For instance, now there's a project I have been waiting, we have been waiting along with talent who got callbacks since March till now. Well, we are amid a, uh, you know, a pandemic and all that, but yeah, that's how long it can take before you can get, you know, another nod. So yeah, very important not to make immediate decisions, take your time so that then you do justice to the talent who dedicated their time to come in for your audition. And also it's very important to just get back to these people. Many times, if you have many, many people, you normally tell them, if you don't hear from us by such a, such a date or a day, then you might not have been considered. That's fine, but it's important to communicate so that people know when to expect to hear back. Maybe it didn't go through, then tell them. If you don't hear back by this day, then you are not considered. Um, or if there are very few people, you can always send texts. People who have come into my rooms would tell you. I send them messages to tell them you are not considered. Hopefully we can work together next time, period. It's very important to communicate. So yeah, so very important. If you're doing, if you're doing the casting yourself, please prep adequately. Don't make snap decisions. Um, make sure that you watch your tapes before you, you, you decide on which talent you want to use. Those are very important, especially for someone who is casting for a project or um, a casting director who is up and coming and watching this. Um, also for talent, I'd say again, I wouldn't insist enough, please know your lines, know the material, you know, know whatever the script you're given, understand it, dress the part. Please turn off your phones when you're getting into audition rooms and places like those. Put it away until you're wrapped. Um, and again, avoid chit chat and all that stuff. Just be there for the job. And once you're done with the job, you can always chit chat. Um, yeah, talk to Lens, smile, be present. I didn't insist on that enough. How friendly are you on camera? Keep it real, you know, don't stop acting until you hear cut and always be glad to be there. Those are some of the golden rules that say, as a casting director, I look out for um, either as talent, good advice for talent and also good advice for people who are up and coming casting directors. See you on set. <laughs>